This election has given rise to a new generation of Democrats. Uh, you can call them Sanders Democrats, you can call them Bernie Crats, whatever you want it to be. But these are all down ticket Democrats who either have endorsed or support the ideas of Bernie Sanders and maintain similar positions. Now, uh, I want to introduce you to some of these people because I think that um, this is a really important way to help move the aggregate party back to the left because right now they've moved too far to the center. Now, pundits will tell you that the party has moved to the left, but you will not find a single respectable political scientist that will agree with that notion because it's just absurd. So these people are important because they are helping to facilitate the leftward shift to the party so that way we no longer have just two right-wing parties who actually have a left and a right-wing party. So they're going to help with that. So I wanted to tell you guys about these people. Now, all of them are running for Congress uh, and they all support things like uh, tackling climate change, income inequality, they're anti-establishment. Many of them are uh, running on the platform of getting money out of politics and overturning Citizens United. So here's the first one who is arguably the most important. He's Tim Canova. He is challenging the DNC chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. He does not take money from super PACs and actually wants to get money out of politics. He wants to end the war on drugs. He wants to regulate Wall Street by reinstating Glass-Steagall. He wants to break up the big banks. And he's against these idiotic free trade deals. Now, another one is Lucy Flores. She is running for Nevada uh, to represent them in the House, and she supports Medicare for All. She wants to eliminate nuclear weapons, which is a phenomenally progressive idea. Uh, she supports raising the cap on Social Security to protect it. Uh, however, when it comes to her higher education plan, she says she supports a debt-free college plan. I don't know what that means. It sounds very similar to Hillary Clinton's plan. Uh, so hopefully she will get on board with a college-free tuition plan like Bernie Sanders. Now, Tom Fegan is running to become the senator in Iowa. So he wants free higher education to all, quote, qualified students. I'm not sure what that means, uh, but it sounds good. He'd have to elaborate more on that. Uh, he also wants to bring back Glass-Steagall. He wants to break up too big to fail institutions, and he doesn't have a super PAC. And furthermore, he wants to overturn Citizens United, but only calls for transparency in both the amounts and sources of campaign financing, uh, and he says it's critical to the process of electing government officials to represent the people they serve. Uh, that's not far enough. Uh, you have to get money out of politics. Bernie Sanders wants to move towards public financing of elections, not just more transparency. That's not going to do anything. All these candidates have super PACs. They all coordinate with their super PACs when that's illegal. Uh, so the transparency isn't going to make a difference. You have to get money out of politics. So I like what I hear, uh, but you, you've got to take a stronger stance on that issue. Now, another one is Sean O'Connor. So he's running for the House of Representatives, and he supports campaign finance reform, regulating Wall Street, protecting Social Security, and basically basically all of the issues Bernie Sanders talks about. Now, the only problem is that he's inspired by Bernie Sanders and endorsed him, but he doesn't really take it to the length that Bernie Sanders does with respect to certain policies. So although he's in favor of regulating Wall Street and a $15 minimum wage, uh, I'm honestly not too impressed with him when it comes to other issues. So for example, uh, he says he will also seek to significantly reduce the impact that money has in politics by supporting legislation that will allow Congress to regulate spending by and or eliminate so-called super PACs through which less than 100 members of the top 0.1% fund a very significant portion of our political campaigns. Now, again, Bernie Sanders wants to get money out of politics. So uh, if you just ask Congress to regulate themselves, that's not going to happen. It's like just basically asking them to stop being corrupt. You have to take the uh, problem into your own hands and just eliminate the influence of money in politics, get money out, uh, publicly finance elections. Now, also, when it comes to health care, he supports the Medicaid expansion of the Affordable Care Act. Uh, and he says that he'll put forth le legislation to prevent employers from cutting hours to avoid paying for insurance. But again, uh, you got to get on board with Medicare for all. So uh, these these are great candidates. Uh, they support a lot of the ideas of Bernie Sanders. But I just want to show you that uh, they don't support all the ideas of Bernie Sanders. Now, another one is John Fetterman. He's running for the Senate in Pennsylvania, and he supports the Black Lives Matter movement, LGBT rights. He actually performed the first same-sex marriage in a Allegheny, Allegheny, I don't know how to pronounce that county, uh, and he, he wants to protect consumers from predatory payday lenders. Uh, there's Bao Win, who is running for the House of Representatives to represent California's 46th district. He supports LGBT rights, racial justice, legalizing marijuana, fair and humane immigration policy, uh, but he wants to make college affordable. He'll protect uh, Social Security, but won't mention uh, raising the cap. 
and he doesn't say anything about Medicare for All. So we see a lot of Bernie Sanders represented here, but not fully. Now there's also Tom Rue, he's actually challenging Paul Ryan, uh, but he has basically a 0% chance of winning because uh, Paul Ryan's district is heavily conservative. And I won't tell you his policies because his website is a nightmare to navigate, but he definitely has this quirky character about him, kind of like Bernie Sanders, that makes me uh, think he's kind of endearing. Now, moving on, there's uh, Gary Kroger, who is running for Congress in Iowa. Uh, he wants to protect unions, and he vows to protect the Affordable Care Act, no mention of Medicare for All. Uh, he also wants to help ease student loan debt, uh, no mention of free college tuition. Now, this isn't all of them. There are more. So, Obviously, all these people are inspired by Bernie Sanders, not all of his ideas. Bernie Sanders is, uh, he's basically a champion of really strong progressive policy, so they're not on board with all of it. But in the end, I think if we support these candidates, we can still help facilitate the move of the Democratic Party to the left. Not all of their policies are wholly progressive, in my opinion. Uh, they're not taking an unequivocally progressive stance like Bernie Sanders on some issues. But again, by and large, uh, you have to be uh, give credit where credit is due. And many of them support very progressive policies, uh, even if they don't agree with everything Bernie Sanders has to say, but the most important one I want to emphasize is Tim Canova. Everything you love about Bernie Sanders, you will love about Tim Canova. They are virtually identical when it comes to policy and the way they act. I mean, to disavow super PACs, to not take corporate money, this is someone who we want to defeat the DNC chair. And if we do that, if we donate to his campaign and get rid of Debbie Wasserman Schultz, uh, we can do big things in terms of helping to bring the Democratic Party back to reality and get them away from those corporate interests. It's not going to happen overnight, uh, but by electing these types of Bernie Kratz, we can definitely do it. So those are all the down ticket Bernie Sanders Democrats I wanted to tell you guys about. Hopefully you found this helpful. I would encourage you to support Tim Canova if you can, uh, but if not, then you can uh, share stories about him uh, if you can't donate and hopefully spread the word about his campaign. <laughs>